Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be playing this 3.1 minor control deck, and yeah, let's just head into the first match. Alright, game one we got Sol GM, uh, we got minor first uh, in our hands, so we'll just go ahead and cycle that in the safe spot. He plays a Lumberjack, uh, not a whole lot of decks play Lumberjack, it could be Golem, uh, Lumber Loon. Trying to think of what else would have Lumberjack in it, I really can't think of anything. Other than Golem and Number Loon. So maybe it's one of those. Knight. Um, well, I have no idea now. Dizard? No. Thought maybe our Dark Prince would fully take out the Knight, but we're just gonna cycle Log here and go ahead and minor with these Skellies. Maybe just get some Skelly hits. And yeah, I'd say that Firecracker isn't gonna splash on it, so look at that. We're gonna bring it down all the way to 2200. Um, we might have to delivery on this. Um, Firecracker, and the nice part about the Monk is it can't, like, reflect a delivery, so... Pretty good. We have a nice counter push coming here, so... Once again, we don't really know his win condition. He has... I mean, it could be Miner as well. He has Firecracker. It might be, like, Royal Hogs. Isn't, I think there's a Royal Hogs deck. It's kind of like this. I could be wrong, but... I mean, I don't really know. This kind of looks like a very weird deck, but it is early on in a Classic Challenge, so I didn't really expect much else so yeah i guess let's just see if he ever plays his wind condition or what it is uh let's go ahead and cycle skellies in the back and cycle minor yeah no clue here he goes ahead and monks on the minor and um firecrackers the firecracker will walk in front so i don't have to delivery but he does play the uh, Phoenix and the Monk, so I will go ahead and deliver that. And yeah, he does pop his ability early, so he's not getting any tower damage, and this is quite a bit. I was going to try to rock it, but I think I'll just Ice or e Spirit Log, and then hopefully my Dark Prince kills the Lumberjack so we can kill the Egg. Uh, it doesn't, unfortunately, but it will kite it a little bit, and the delivery should clean it up. So not bad. Uh, I kind of misplayed that, but it's not a big deal. Um, I rocketed thinking he would lumberjack right away, but at the very least, at least we killed his knight, and he's got a rocket as well. I don't think that's a good play, because he can't out, like, he can't rocket cycle me when I have such a big damage lead, and unfortunately I missed the firecracker, that sucks. We'll go ahead and miner on it and log. Oh, yikes, it <laughs> locked on the, uh, lumberjack. Probably a bad log, I don't know. Maybe I just messed up. And yeah, he's got a rocket, but I can just rocket right back. I do have my Inferno Tower up, so there's not a whole lot he can do when I catch his Firecracker. Uh, well, he did not play that well. Why would you cycle right there knowing I'm going to rocket back? Anyway, uh, yeah, I think this game's pretty much over. He's not going to beat me um, by rocket cycling. And he's playing P.E.K.K.A. He <laughs> I guess he wanted to keep that as a surprise. Uh, could have been a good monk if he popped the ability, but uh, we can go ahead and just cycle real quick. We'll uh, minor, hopefully that'll take it out. And yeah, he doesn't catch it, so yeah, GG's. Uh, pretty easy first game. Alright, we're in our second game here against this guy. He doesn't have anything on his banner, so no telling what he would be playing. Um, I'm just gonna... Well, it's gonna cycle a Dark Prince in the back, but we do catch his Dark Goblin, so that was pretty good. And he will have Dark Goblin Mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, Sparky? Maybe? Murder? Some sort of weird Expo deck? I mean... I know, like... Oh. Just mirrors his mini P.E.K.K.A. That should be taken care of by the delivery. And yeah, we can go ahead and Skelly's on this E-Wiz and give it no damage. So yeah, it kind of looks like Sparky. Sparky. Sparky Mirror. Um, but I mean, it could be anything at this point. Like I said, we're still early on in a classic challenge, so I don't expect this deck to make all too much sense. Um... Uh, 
Let's go to Inferno Tower high, but I'll go ahead and Inferno Tower low here, and since he played the Inferno Dragon, uh, we should get a nice delivery here, and E-Spirit as well. I don't know what happened with the mini peck, it just like ran towards the tower. Um, unfortunately the monk isn't in range, but my friend tower should clean it up pretty easy. I didn't even need the skellies. Um, but hopefully they don't both die. And unfortunately they do. Um, I can go ahead and log this. I don't think he has any, like, goblin barrel or anything. So I think it's a pretty safe log. Go ahead and dark prince kite this. Um, he does predict, like, an e-spirit or something, so not bad. And the e-spirit, um... Mirrors his log. What I was gonna say is the E Spirit should clean up. Um or the tower cleans up the egg. I don't know why, I can't talk today. I'm just like stumbling over all my words. Anyways, we're gonna cycle skellies and miner. Did he give up? He's covering my rocket. Uh, I'm thinking he would play mini Pekka and he ends up doing it, um, uh, but there's a good chance I would have missed there, so I'm not too upset. That's why I didn't just pre-rocket. Uh, could have been bad. I mean, it would have been down quite a bit of elixir. Looks like he's gonna set up some sort of big push here with Phoenix. Um, Phoenix Monk and Inferno Drag, e -Wiz. This is pretty good rocket value, assuming he doesn't pop the ability, which would be pretty crazy. We do miss the e -Wiz in front, but hit literally everything else, so I will take that. And I forgot about the nerf on the, uh, Phoenix to where it just dies to a log, so I didn't even need the E-Spirit. I think it connected, though, so... Not bad. So, I don't know, he's like playing everything into my rocket. Um, I guess it's not bad. He's probably gonna pop his ability here thinking I'm gonna rocket. Looks like he doesn't. It was a pretty risky log anyway. Unfortunately, we don't hit the Dark Goblin. But really, I shouldn't have even logged there. But I definitely didn't want to rocket just in case. Um, so, yeah, he hasn't really got any damage. He's gonna mirror his Phoenix here. This could be a little scary, but I think with rocket here and delivery or log it should be pretty easy somehow the other one died i don't know how that happened or maybe it already lost its first life i don't i don't know what happened there anyways yeah he pretty much doesn't have a way to break through because he doesn't really have a win condition and this is a really good defensive deck so i'm not really gonna get overwhelmed at least i would be shocked myself if that happened uh i'll go ahead and skellies here kind of distract everything. Pretty much all of his cards can be distracted by skellies, which makes this kind of bad. I don't even know if he has any splash damage. So honestly, he's kind of lucky I don't have like a more of a spammy deck. Um, but, I mean, you know, oh well. Yeah, he doesn't have any splash, does he? Yeah, it's a pretty bad deck. You will never face this. I wish I wasn't going to put it in, because like, pretty weird. But, I am gonna leave it in just so you know if you ever play a crazy deck like this you at least have an idea of what to do we'll go ahead and delivery on the monk and phoenix and yeah we shouldn't have any problem defending he doesn't really have any way to kill my inferno tower so they can just like stack there hopefully mini pekka's he inferno drags i don't even know if that'll hit it looks like it does we honestly almost caught the mini pekka too we played that kind of early i don't think this will be a problem to defend yeah he's giving us a lot of delivery value um, and yeah, this should take tower unless he catches it. Uh, he will, he whiz, but the rocket will kill it and the miner will take tower, so yeah. Pretty easy game too, very weird dyke, and yeah, I'll just see you guys in the last game. Alright, we're in our third and final game here against Lance Cosmo. We'll go ahead and cycle miner, and he plays wall breakers. Um, I kind of lagged there, so yeah, these will both connect. Uh, that's pretty unfortunate uh, that I lagged so bad there, where the skeletons came down super late, but oh well. He's got uh, Valk, Wallbreaker's Drill. Uh, I think this is usually played with Skelly King, um, if I remember the deck right. If it is that deck, um, I don't think it plays Bomb Tower though, does it? Bomb Tower Gob Gang, yeah, this seems pretty weird. We'll go ahead and delivery on this. I don't know if I actually needed it because my Inferno Tower is there and, you know, but I don't really know for sure. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and hover log here. Uh, we were expecting the wall breakers, that's why I was hovering it, but as soon as I <laughs> uh, 
put it away. He goes wall breakers, so that kind of sucks. Uh, we can go ahead and Dark Prince, and the Magic Archer is going to be kind of hard to deal with. I didn't expect him to go that aggressive, but oh well. I don't think this should be lined up on tower, so I don't think it'll be a huge deal. He might get one shot on tower. don't even think he got one, so we're down quite a bit here, but he did spend quite a bit of Elixir, so we might get some pretty good damage with the Miner, unless he overcommits on it. We'll see if that makes it any closer. We'll go ahead and Inferno Tower here. Maybe I should have Inferno Tower closer to the tower, like catch the... Um, drill if he plays it, but oh well. Uh, so this wasn't the deck I thought it was. It doesn't run Magic Archer Gop Gang, but um, it's still a drill matchup. Um, there's obviously better drill decks out there, but I am saying that down ne nearly 600 or over 600 damage. So yeah, <laughs> I guess Bomb Tower is pretty popular right now. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take the rocket on the Magic Archer. Hopefully it walks up in time. It does. We can go ahead and delivery here. Uh, unfortunately, I messed up the delivery and one connected. I'm making a lot of misplays here, but we're still in the game, obviously. I don't know what that NATO was. I thought he was gonna play Magic Archer, so I E-spirited. Um, that way it wouldn't connect on tower, but he didn't even play his Magic Archer, so... It was terrible wall breakers there. Uh, we should be up quite a bit of elixir, I would think, because he wall breakers gob ganged into like instant death. So I don't even know if he has anything he can play, and he messes up the NATO too. I don't know if he's gonna play anything else on it or just eat the damage, but we're in a very good spot here. I think we're up quite a bit of elixir, so we're just gonna go ahead and rock it here. Um, the Magic Archer is kind of bad as well, and I think I pushed it out of range. Yeah, I did, but it's not gonna matter. It's not, or it looks like it did actually connect to tower. We just gotta cycle back to rocket. It shouldn't be too hard to do. We almost choked, um, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.